I know you've played with a lot of a lot of, a lot of uh, great rock rock guitarists. If you could pick one story, for me it was Brian May from Queen. Really, um, in the early '90s, I got a chance to tour with him on a tour called "Back to the Light." Uh-huh. Uh, his, he came out with an album, and he just made me feel like Gary. You know, you got something special, and he treated me with so much respect that he, that moment was kind of like I felt like I arrived. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, awesome. yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, and, because you know, he, that's can great, he can play. It's a great point. You, most people don't realize it, and until well after it's right. happened. And he gave you your due. Yeah, yeah. That's, and Joe Satriani did the same thing for me. I got to play some shows with Joe Satriani when I was, you know, just coming out, and he heard my first album. He liked me, and I remember standing on stage, you know, doing a sound check. Right. And I just turned to the left, and Joe Satriani was standing like right, <laughs> kind of by the end of the stage, just staring at me. Yeah. It kind of freaked, you know, totally freaked oh, me surreal. out. It's you know, surreal. Freaked me out, and I was a little nervous, but I just, you know, kept playing and everything. And then when I came off, he said, "You sound great, kid. You sound great. It's gonna be a great tour." Called you kid. He called me kid, <laughs> but it made me feel like again, yeah. like I just, I, they, I arrived, like they accepted me into this club, whatever this club was, you know, because when you're on the outside, you always feel like I'm not good enough, you know, and you uh-huh. just, you know, even even if you're good, you just until someone says, "Hey, you're all right." Like when Ozzy Osbourne told me, "You didn't get the gig, but you you should definitely come out to L.A. You have some talent." Right. It, it meant a lot. That's really cool. You know.